You are. Um, oh. right, so we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen. Hello. Sixteen. Twenty. So we're at we're at Twitter, we're at Twitter. right now, which is kind of like this is like a voyage home for us. This is a big moment. I, I feel Look, like Moses us, has returned to Egypt. They gave us things with our names on it. Yeah. I got one with his name on it too. No. <laughs> hey, and, and there are other people here. Uh, Hello. The star. But yeah, it's. Uh, Where are you going? No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that's what it is. Right. That is, that is no big, big dongs. Uh, and and Rob brought his uh, Hollywood lights with him in the corner there. Yeah, that's. I need that lighting. I'm very pale. Um. Can I just say... People give well, me a hard time for not doing it like this. Do Is they? that messing everyone up? Like, the Twitter Do offices, that. I mean, talk about a billion-dollar company. It's nicer here than Buckingham Palace. It's, it's, it's very lush. It's... I'm, I'm doing what I'm just going to... It's like, look at this restoration hardware level <laughs> shit. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, this is an office. Like, I'd have an office job. Oh, people are asking questions. Oh, right. yeah, we should ask the questions. Oh. Oh. Ah, ceiling! Uh, all right, uh, I'm going to ask you questions. Hi from Russia. Hello. Hi, from Japan. Oh. Konnichiwa. Oh, don't. Uh, Google Office, lol. Hi, Zowie. Uh, I bet you're <laughs> going to get that enough, do you? Uh, hello from Switzerland. Hello from Mexico. Uh, Dunik. Du shared on Twitter. Thanks, Dunik. <laughs> Hi from Amsterdam. I'm amazed you have the ability to type. Uh, <laughs> We're not typing. Is there going to be a sequel to Moon? Uh, is there going to be a sequel to Moon? I, you know what? I'm not. I, there is going to be a type of sequel to Moon, but not as a movie. It's called Full Moon <laughs> or Moon Me. Uh, hi from Basingstoke. Basingstoke. <laughs> Basingstoke. Hello. The place in England with the most roundabouts. Really? True. Is that a fact? That is a fact. Yeah. Huh. Basingstoke, the roundabout oh. centre of the world. Um, it's because they don't ever want you to leave. <laughs> uh, just one big round. From Leicester, congratulations. Will you go back to Moscow in 26? Just uh, once. Will, will they go back again this year? Probably not. We had a good time there. We both were there we were, recently. We, we had a good time. Um, and, you know, if this goes well, people like Warcraft will make another one and then we'll definitely go back to Moscow. Uh, Spanish hello from Switzerland. Hey. Hola. Yes, if, uh, you don't play Warcraft, will you still like the movie? Yes, you definitely will. It's 100%. Not, it's not a movie that we've made just for gamers. It will no. make all the other gamers happy. But and think it of it this way. When, when Peter Jackson made uh, Fellowship of the Ring, um, not everyone who went to see that had read Tolkien. And it was because it was a big fantasy film and it was fun and it had great characters and people enjoyed the story. And that's the same thing we've done with Warcraft. So, yeah, you'll, you'll love it. It's almost like you've practiced that. It was like, it was really well done. Ow! Uh, Hi guys, when Warcraft becomes a which Warcraft? Ah, that's good. Hi guys, when Warcraft becomes a massive success, which Warcraft stories are you excited to? Well, I know which. I think I know yeah, which ones. Know. You, yeah. you, you're, you're all over the Lich King, aren't you? I am all over the Lich King. <laughs> I'm all over him. <laughs> num num num. Um, I'm, I'm more than happy to continue with the story that we set up in this one because I, I'd like to do, I'd like to do three films. Um, based on this, you know, that follow the story from this first one, and it it has a very natural and satisfying and organic ending. If we get to do three movies, have you finished post production? Mm. Uh, yeah, of course we have. Absolutely, yeah. The film I comes mean, I out. Hope so. the film, <laughs> film comes out day after tomorrow in France. Reshoots. <laughs> uh, what about? Oh, I didn't read that one. When are you guys coming to the plaza? Which plaza? I think then in the plaza we were just... Oh! <laughs> we've actually left there, yeah, I'm yeah, afraid. We've, we've, we've we got rushed around. Yeah. Do you still bother Rob with the tiny hands? <laughs> in a manner of speaking. <laughs> um, I forgot to bring the tiny hands! Yeah. I should have brought the tiny hands with me. Why is, Dad, why is Dalaran hands. floating in the trailer, Duncan? Uh, <laughs> Let's answer it. Let's do it. There are three reasons why uh, parts of the movie may not completely follow law. We've tried to keep it to, to the law as much as possible. We obviously worked with Blizzard right from the start, all the way through, through to the end. But occasionally, um, things don't go according to law. One of them is because the law itself is in contradiction with itself. Mm -hmm. Number two, um, 
<laughs> what was number two? I had three really good reasons. It looks before. good. No, no, no. Uh, uh, no, that's number three. Number three is is once in a while we do things because it looks good. Number two, oh, because it's a movie. And um, if you have 20 years to tell your story, or you have a game where basically you want to hit the audience with new things all the time, you have to streamline for a movie because you've got two hours to tell one story and you want it to make sense. So, um, yeah, so we streamlined some, some, of the, some of the law. And then the third reason, and the reason that Dalaran is floating, is because it looks really cool as opposed to having it on the ground. But um, forgive us and allow us that flex, you know, allow us that because I promise you, if we do get to make a second film, I have worked out a very clever way to bring that particular element back into the law and make it make sense. You know, there, there was something that came up when I was reading it was a, it was a thing in support of Batman versus Superman. And it, I, I feel like it applies to this as well in, in, in regard. Which is they were, yeah, a lot of people were very upset about Doomsday being brought in and killed so quickly, but they knew the story that they were gonna tell. And Doomsday, he wasn't, He's not the ultimate villain of the what is essentially going to be a short film franchise. You know, they're not doing a hundred comics; they're doing whatever it might be ten films. So Doomsday had his story. Archimonde will probably not, I imagine, become a major feature of any Warcraft movie. It's not a big enough story. So his destruction of Dalaran might not necessarily play into the filmic universe of Warcraft. So it comes about making the best story that we can tell. It comes about making the best world that we can present and the most pure way of doing that. And that's often why we have to make slight deviations. I'll tell you what though, if you do, you know, when, when the film has come out and you get a chance to see it and for what it is, um, we should talk again about, about why Dalaran is in the sky and what we could do in the future. Mm -hmm. Because the fact that it's in the sky means that we can actually bring it back to ground. And that could be a really interesting and particularly important moment, especially with what we're setting up in this movie. Where does uh, Chesney Hawks appear in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, on the cutting room floor, we did actually shoot with Chesney performing a bardic version of uh, the one and only, which I'm going to get out. Whether it, if it kills me, I'm going to get that out to you guys yeah, so you can listen cut, to it. Right? Was... Um, I think I've got. I think I have got the scene on the extras. Um, for the DVD Blu-ray, so you a, will be able to watch it There was a moment that. when I was on to set that day, I was in the car and I looked at the call sheet, I was like, Chesney Hawks? Chesney Hawks? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, I mean, no, it can't be the Chesney Hawks, and it was the Chesney Hawks. It's brilliant, I've got, no, it's great. I am the one and only. The <laughs> will <laughs> will <laughs> we see trolls in the movie? Um, Is that a bit? No, no, you will not see trolls. Yeah, but if we get to make a sequel, if you guys love it, we get to put Torrens in it and everything else that we would want to do. There's no one I'd rather be. Uh, I'm so glad you're including <laughs> at least one drain eye, more than one. Would you consider a Warcraft TV small? I, well, I've talked about a TV show spinoff because the universe is built in such a way that there are so many stories. You know, obviously the CGI limits what you could do on a TV show, but you could do an SI7 and Defias Brotherhood storyline. If you look into the history of that with the, with the Friends and, the, and Van Cleef, and you could really do an amazing fantasy-themed TV show based entirely on the Defias Brotherhood with zero CGI. Can you give Grommash's Warcraft 2 voice? <laughs> uh, if only. Um, how did you come up with the idea of Warcraft? Yeah, how did you come up with it? It's your, it's your, it's your IP. Oh, right? yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I remember that, that day when I was sitting, in the, uh, sitting by my PC, sitting in front of my PC. Crafting war. Uh, <laughs> playing Command and Conquer, thinking, you know what? This would this be great. Be it's with a fantasy orcs game. Or the yeah. humans version. Um, what's your favorite movie? <laughs> uh, my favorite movie changes all the time. Um, Do you have genre specific movies? Uh, well, right now, just because actually one of, the, one of the questions that somebody is going to ask because I have now sort of suggested it is what films kind of inspired what mm -hmm. we did in Warcraft. And on the cinematography level, it was uh, Once Upon a Time in the West. So Sergio, Sergio Leone um, has a strange but important role in, in what Warcraft is. More questions. Will there be a sequel to Warcraft? If it's up to you. That's up to you. If you go and watch it lots, we get to make lots of sequels. Otherwise... Paul, Rob, and I are going to be stuck doing this this cop TV show, yeah. Krasinski and Jones. TJ, you don't want that. TJ, you the don't hooker. Want that. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, no, Blizzard did not tell us anything about Warcraft Four, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, and I did buy a Doomhammer replica after filming. I actually, although uh, we two. did, we did ask <clears throat> a lot every we time did. Blizzard were on the set. It's like, are you going to make a Warcraft Four? We really want to play yeah. it. Can you put it on the iPad? Like, we're not making a Warcraft Four. Could you make it work on the iPad though? We'd really want to play it if it were on the iPad. right. <laughs> one, right. I, I, those, all those old games, you know, all those old uh, like RTSs should be on there. <laughs> 
Diablo movie, please. But, I mean, that's not down to us, unfortunately. You're going to call your daughter Warcraft? <laughs> um, uh, uh, oh, Blizzard, of course. My playtime in WoW at the minute is about 600 days, but I mean, that doesn't sound too impressive, amazingly, but it was about 450 days at the end of Lich King, and I've only put 150 in over the last like, four or five years. <laughs> Why don't they do production staff action figures? Damn right. Really I'm going to get on that. I'm going to talk to Universal, because they really should be. Blizzard did Overwatch. Have you played? Have you played? Yeah, I played a little bit. I love it. It's, I think it's really good fun. I used to enjoy Team Fortress, and I think mm. they've kind of they've they've nailed what made that game so um, appealing, um, and have, and put put the Blizzard put the Blizzard magic on it. It's really good. Was that Glenn Close in one of the teasers? Oh, you want us to wrap it up? No. Jeez, <laughs> we were, we're just having fun. Started. All right. Uh, um, but, but was that Glenn Close I in guess, one of the teasers? Uh, you'll have to watch. You'll have to see. watch and find out, won't you? It could be, or it could be Scott Bakula, or I it could Scott be Kevin Bakula. Spacey. <gasps> you oh. never know with me. Who could, who could the cameo be? It's Kevin Spacey. <laughs> mm. All right, let's go do this in text form. All right, bye, bye. everybody. Thanks for tuning in.